Hello and welcome to the Pennsylvania Association of College Admission Counseling College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. I'm Jennifer and I'll be your facilitator tonight. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items for you. We have some fantastic schools here today. They will each have six minutes to share more about their institution or program, but they'll be around the entire session to answer your questions. Your camera and your microphone are off though, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can leave a question for everyone to answer and weigh in on, or you can direct your question to a specific representative by including the name of their school or program with your question so they know that you want to hear from them. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening as a part of this programming. It's not too late to check the schedule and sign up to join us for the next round to come. We hope you will do so. This presentation and all of the presentations are being recorded. They'll be available in the coming days at that same website where you register, strivescan.com slash Pennsylvania. All right, I'm happy to kick it off and welcome our first school to present. We're gonna be learning all about Duquesne University. Good afternoon or good evening, Jennifer, and for all of the college joining us tonight, I want to thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, well, I'm just in the process right now of sharing my screen. Uh, welcome. Looks good, Joe. Take it away. Perfect. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Duquesne, my contact information. My name is Joe Campion. My telephone and uh, email. And again, I want to thank you tonight for joining us. This is a picture of Academic Walk. Duquesne was founded in 1878. We're a Catholic university. We have students of all different faiths here at Duquesne. Service is very important. So students that have participated or are participating in National Honor Society, key clubs, and other such organizations tend to gravitate toward or have an interest in Duquesne. This particular picture is on our campus. We're very fortunate that we're in the heart of the city of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. We have uh, students from all 50 states, but we have over 53 acres to our campus. And I think the really neat thing about Pittsburgh is that we're in the heart of that city. It's a really neat city, uh, but we have quite a history. And again, going back to 1878, uh, I think you'll find services very, very big here at the university. So again, Heat Club and Student uh, National Honor Society involvement are, tend to be a hallmark of a lot of our students that are here on the campus. We have 8,500 students total. Uh, we have quite a few graduate programs and 5,100 undergrads. Class sizes are rather small. I always encourage students to realize that there's one resonating feature with this is access to faculty. Uh, faculty get to know you, you're certainly not a number. And that's also important for doing and being involved in undergraduate research. Research is very big here at the school uh, and we have quite a few students that go on to graduate programs but the class sizes here tend to be 13 to one for if you look at the overall class uh, ratio and 28 is typically an average size class. But there was a lot of graduate programs that also supplement uh, the work that we have here on the campus. Uh, as I said, we're in the heart of the city of Pittsburgh. This is a shot from what we call Mount Washington. And the neat thing about Duquesne is that a lot of things are in walking distance. Our next door neighbor is gonna be the PPG Paints Arena. And that's where the Pittsburgh Penguins play hockey. We're also next to a division or a uh, level one trauma center, UPMC Mercy. So the students here that have an interest in healthcare or health related majors, there's a great deal of synergy. The cultural district is phenomenal. We just had to kill a mockingbird in the city uh, at the Benetton Center, PNC Park now with the Pirates uh, and certainly the home of the Steelers, but tremendous amount of things to do, particularly after class on weekends. Uh, but along those lines, tremendous amount of internships, clinics, student teaching opportunities. And of course, the dining opportunities here in Pittsburgh are tremendous too. So I can certainly assure you, you will not be bored on weekends or after class. The nine schools of study that we have, we have over 85 majors, but we have a school of business, accounting, finance, management, or courses there, a school of education for elementary, secondary education, health sciences, for physician's assistant, uh, occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech language pathology, to name a few majors. Pharmacy is a six-year doctoral program, a school of music as opposed to a department, an entire school of music. And that's important for students that might have an interest in being instrumentalists. They may not want to major in music, but they've, if they have great musical talent and have worked hard in school and high school uh, and don't want to leave the instrument behind, 
we certainly encourage them to be part of our community with music. The sciences are tremendously strong here at Duquesne, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, a unique five-year program in forensic science and the law, and of course, the liberal arts with languages, computer science, cybersecurity, uh, communications, marketing, branding, just to name a few majors there. A very important takeaway from this screen would be all of our programs at Duquesne are direct entry. The six-year pharmacy program, there's two years of pre-pharmacy. If you're uh, doing well in your science-related courses, you go into the professional phase. But I say that because if we're on the call tonight with juniors or those that might be sophomores or even freshmen, I just would want to encourage you to realize that in our application process, you'd want to know you'd be applying directly to the School of Nursing. Very important to be mindful of, so because these are all direct entry programs. We do have some new programs here at the school in applied mathematics, business analytics, and cybersecurity that we're very, very excited about. Uh, obviously, there's a great deal of distinction in the hard work that our students perform, and this is going to be outcomes based. So, the support to get you at these uh, very important examinations, et cetera, as you can see, uh, we're very proud of the success of our students. Uh, if you are a piano player, for instance, there's 68 Steinways, do not pack the piano. Uh, you don't have to be worried about that at all, but there's a lot of academic opportunities. Uh, we're very excited also about our College of Osteopathic Medicine that as we speak, we're constructing. We'll be ready for the fall 2024. Great opportunities to study abroad. Our campus in Pittsburgh is a tremendous campus, but it's not our only campus. We also have an entire Duquesne campus in Rome, and every major here at the university has the opportunity to study abroad. The big question becomes the duration of time. Many times our students in the College of Arts School of Business can go for an entire semester. Some students may only go for a week in spring break. They can go as tight as a week, and they've had very meaningful experiences in that time frame. Otherwise, as we're approaching the month of May, we have a three-week program called Maymaster, Many of our science-related students uh, want to take advantage of taking care of, of going to that program. But every major can study abroad. As we're exiting this pandemic, I would encourage you to realize those great opportunities exist. Having said that, living on campus, tremendous opportunities hey, to Joe, live here. Hello? We're, we're reaching the end of your six minutes, so I want to make sure you're able to um, get your, your information into the chat and just wrap up for, right now. Jennifer, we're well due. Yes. You're not going to go hungry. And the most important thing we want you to do is being involved and see the involvement opportunities and apply. So having said that, here, this would be a looking what an, op an opportunity would be here. Go to www.duq.edu. We'd love to have your application. Take care. Uh, God bless. And uh, we'll wish you the very best. Great, Joe. Thank you so much for starting us off as the first school tonight and sharing all about Duquesne. All right, we're moving on to school number two this evening, and it will be Lawrence Tech. Thank you so much. Let me just share my screen here real quick. Hi, everybody. My name is Spencer Mattinson. I am the admissions advisor here at Lawrence Tech for the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, Lawrence Tech is located in Southfield, Michigan. Uh, we're about 25 minutes north of Detroit or about 20 minutes away from the uh, closest airport. So you can feel free to fly if you need to or bring your car up. It's free to have your car on campus and you can have it when you're a freshman. So at Lawrence Tech, we have four different colleges, the College of Architecture and Design, Arts and Sciences, the Business and IT, and Engineering. We're going to kind of dive into those in a little bit. Uh, but that's where we're located at. Uh, we do have a large population of students that are outside of Michigan and also outside of the United States. Um, so just a little bit about us, though. What really separates us is we're a small school, private school, about 4,000 students, 11 to 1 student faculty ratio. That average class size is going to be 17 students. Uh, and we have over 100 different programs. And we have multiple statistics that just show how great of a university we are in regards to many of our different programs. So you can see some of our labs listed right there. And the big reason as to what makes Lawrence Tech stand out is this idea of theory and practice. Uh, theory is going to be uh, where you're going to be learning in the classroom uh, and then getting that experience uh, when you're in the labs and internships and co-ops is going to be that practice aspect. So about 75% of our students have some sort of internship or co-op while they're at Lawrence Tech uh, and you're going to start your classes right away. It is direct entry into your program in labs are going to start off right away as well. And this LTU zone that you see right here, that is actually our laptop initiative. Every student 
is going to get a laptop loaded up with their programs that they need for their specific major. So so $75,000 worth of programming. So if you need Photoshop or CAD or AutoWorks, things like that, uh, you will have all those provided to you freshman year. Um, you just play a laptop deposit, but you get that back once you return the laptop. And if you want to use your own, you can, but we can't provide those to you just with licensing agreements, stuff like that. So we always encourage students to utilize that because uh, you're pretty much going to be industry ready right when you start freshman year. And even if you're not really sure what you want to do, you take a lot of introductory classes in all those colleges just to make sure that you're making the right decision. So you can kind of see on this page, top right is our structural testing center. We have one of our architecture and design colleges on the bottom there. And then the left is our SAE garage with one of our uh, chem labs up top. Uh, we do have a residential campus, so you could be living at LTU. We just designed brand new residence halls in 2018 for East residence halls or freshman students. Uh, and we pretty much asked our students that were living there at the time, hey, what do you guys want to see? Uh, what are you looking for when you go check out your residence halls? And uh, what did you want when you came to LTU? So we built what they said. So larger rooms, uh, free laundry, free utilities. We have a separate rec center inside of our actual uh, residence halls because the walk to the rec center was three minutes too long because it's four minutes. So uh, we just built a second one just in case students wanted to go there. Uh, laundry in every single floor. Uh, we have music practice rooms with individual and group. We have areas to play video games, to study, community spaces. So we just designed it so you can get involved and meet people and meet other students. Uh, as I said, also, you can bring your car. It is free. And we have uh, eateries where you can eat. We also have connections with multiple areas nearby. Uh, so if you wanted to possibly get connected with any sort of restaurants or anything, you could always use your meal plans there too, or your meal dollars there uh, to skip onward. So my mouse. Perfect. So uh, if you're in uh, athletics or you want to be an athlete on campus, we have multiple opportunities. Just fill out a recruitment form at that website, ltuathletics.com. We just added esports, competitive cheer. Uh, we added uh, marching band and pep band recently, and uh, we have multiple different opportunities for you to join in. And there are scholarships available. We are the NAIA. Uh, we also have the ACHA for hockey as well. So if you want to uh, be an athlete on campus, you can do that. But the big thing about LTU is that we want you to uh, obviously uh, focus on your academics. So when you want to come to LTU, you just need to fill out an application. There is an application fee, but if you use the code LTU1932 and you use that on our website's application, uh, you'll get that uh, fee waived. We do take the Common App, uh, but they don't take the fee waiver. So if you want to use that, you can. But if you want to use the fee waiver, you can come to ours. We are test optional for this year and for next year. Uh, up to 2023, and we are taking it by year by year basis. So, if you're a sophomore or a freshman listeners right now, check back when it's time to apply, and uh, we can let you know what we're doing then. But basically, what that means is if you don't want to send in your test scores, you don't have to. Uh, students take placement exams uh, for LTU for specific classes within your major. So, for math, science, English, uh, programming as well, depending on what major you pick, you would take those placement exams, and that puts you in the correct level of any class that you might need to go into your freshman year. Uh, then you need to write an essay, send that in, you're all your transcripts, and you're good to go. Uh, for being out of state, we don't have any out of state tuition fees, and you get a scholarship just for being out of state. It's $5,000, and it goes on top of that merit scholarship that you get reviewed for. That's our cost, uh, but I always tell my students that I've been doing this job a lot longer than it looks like, and uh, I've never had a student pay that actual price fully. So, because uh, there's financial aid, there's scholarships, lots of opportunities to help you pay for that. So, we really encourage you to check all those out. And your two scholarships from us, because you're allowed to get two, you're already all set. You get the merit and you get the out-of-state scholarship. Uh, and then financial aid, fill that out and send it over to us. 75% of our students have co-ops and internships while they're at Lawrence Tech. Over 80% of our students have jobs in the field once they graduate at time of graduation. That's because of the connections we have with industry. Uh, you'll have uh, some sort of job when you're at LTU in regards to your program or you have some research opportunities. We really encourage you to work with career services to find something that's right for you. We have so many opportunities across the United States, both Michigan and Pennsylvania and other parts in the US if you want to go elsewhere. Uh, we really encourage you to get connected, find out what's right for you, and then go from there. Uh, these are all of our programs. Uh, as you can kind of see, we have multiple different opportunities. We have bachelor's, master's combined programs and master's programs, but that's all it for me. Reach out here. I'll put my content information in the web, uh, in the chat box and I'll pass it on to my colleagues. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Spencer, for sharing Lawrence Tech today. All right, we're on to our next program. We're going to be learning all about Virgo education. Stephanie? 
Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be presenting to all of you today. So again, my name is Stephanie. I'm one of the regional admissions counselors with Virto Education. I'm excited to tell all of you who are on the call and all of you who will be listening later about an opportunity for you to spend your freshman year of college abroad and earning college credit that counts towards your degree. So I'm going to go through this presentation. And as I go through, I just want to point out that I do have a QR code that's going to appear on almost all of my slides. This is a great time now to take out your phone, give it a scan, and it's a great way to stay in touch with us after this fair to fill out that form. I'll also be posting a link in the chat for you to fill out that form and keep in touch with us after I finish here. So what is Virto Education and how does it work? So again, Virto is a way for you to travel during your freshman year of college and earn college credit that counts toward your degree. I'll be highlighting each of our semester and year locations. And the way that Virto works is actually really simple. So for seniors, as soon as August or September of your senior year, you can fill out one of our free applications and all we need is a copy of your transcript showing you have a 2.5 high school GPA or higher and give us a 500 word writing sample. Once you submit your application in as soon as 48 hours, but usually around a week, you can get a decision from us if you're accepted into the program. Once you formally enroll with Virto, that's the really exciting part where you get to choose your one or two semesters overseas, and then you travel your freshman year earning fully transferable college credit that follows you home to the college of your dreams that you wanna to go to. So when you come back, you'll be coming back as a first semester sophomore or a second semester freshman, excuse me, or a second semester freshman, yes. So the other part of Virto is that we partner with 70 colleges and universities across the US. So what this means is that when you apply to these colleges through us, we actually help you with the application and the admissions process. These schools know our students, they know our credits, and they make the transfer process really easy when you come home from your overseas experience. However, any school in the US that accepts our credits, you can go to. So we are able to support you with the transfer into partner colleges, but also give you support as you're looking to go to the school of your dreams, whether it's in our network or out of our network. So our semesters, so part of the big Virto mission is that we want to see every student be able to study abroad. We're making it more affordable and accessible. And we also want our students to enjoy a really high quality academic experience while they're traveling. So our semesters are designed to be rigorous and academic. You can expect the same type of quality as if you're going to stay in the US and take a more traditional track. That being said, we also put in components of experiential learning into the majority of our courses. So you look at about 20% in experiential learning, 80% in the classroom for the academic part. And so this is an opportunity for you to take the things that you learn in your classes and apply them outside and learn more about the locations that you're traveling to. So I want to take a second to just touch on each of the seven semester locations that we have. Some big details that I want everyone to know are that all of our semesters are about 14 and a half weeks. You can take between 12 and 16 college credits per semester. Anytime you see student residence or student accommodation, it's a dorm or apartment style student residence where you'll be staying with other Virto students. And some of our locations have the opportunity for you to elect a host family stay. Another part is that you'll see the program cost here, and that's our sticker price. So the sticker price is per semester, and it includes your room and board, all of your academic courses, books and materials, and any type of excursion that's part of the program. For Seville and Costa Rica, this price also includes a meal plan, and I'll be talking about financial aid closer to the end of my presentation. So we offer a semester in beautiful Seville, Sevilla, Spain, we also have a semester in Florence, Italy, a semester in London, England, a semester in Prague, Czech Republic. We also offer a semester in Dublin, Ireland, a semester in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and last, a semester in Costa Rica. So I'll give you information at the end of this presentation where you go on our website and see all of these locations in detail. And you could see each of the courses that we offer in these locations. Another important thing is that when you study with us for a year, you can go to one or two locations. And if you're only with us for a semester, it'll just be one location. 
So something that's really important and it's, it's on everyone's mind as they're applying to different post-secondary opportunities is financial aid. So the way that it looks at Virto is that when you submit your free Virto application and a copy of your FAFSA, that's the Federal Application for Student Aid, when you submit those two documents, you are automatically considered for need-based grants anywhere from $2,000 to $12,000 off of any semester location. So this is one of the ways we are working to make our programs more affordable for our students. We also accept any type of third party external scholarships that you might receive, for example, from your high schools or your communities or any businesses in your communities. As long as that can apply to a Virto program, we can accept it. We have an amazing team of financial aid advisors who are there to support you and work with you and your family through the process. So again, this is an area where we're, trying, we're really trying to make it as accessible for our students. You can always check us out on any of our social media. We're on Instagram. Of course, we're on TikTok. We have our own blogs. You could check us out there and see what our students are doing. And the last thing I'll say is if you want more information, give this code a scan. I'm going to be putting the link in the chat and apply as soon as you can to get more access to our grants and scholarships. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for sharing all about the opportunities through Virto. All right, we've done three schools and programs. We've got three more to go. Don't forget attendees about the Q&A option for you. You can find that on your screen to ask questions to any of our representatives that are here today. And as you can see by the shared screen, our next pr program is going to be Temple University Japan Campus. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello, everyone. Hello from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, my name is Ha Enchen Scouser from Temple University Japan Campus. I'll call TJ for short. Uh, TJ is the International Branch Campus of Temple University Main Campus in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm sure you all know or you're familiar with uh, Temple in Philly. It is our main campus and it's the biggest one in Philly and it's one of the largest public research universities in the US. And we're a branch campus in Tokyo, Japan. So it means you earn American degree, but you do in Tokyo, Japan with us. Temple has three campuses in the world, the main campus in Philly, two branch campuses in Rome, Italy and Tokyo, Japan. And because we're the same school, it's very easy for students to chance for only three campuses. But then you can start at Japan campus. You can go to Rome campus for one or two semesters at your road, but you can easily transfer back to our main campus to finish a degree. But most of us can spend all four years and graduate from Temple Japan with us. We offer 10 majors in the arts field. Let's look at the screen for the list of majors we offer. Uh, the most popular majors are international business studies, communications, art, international affairs, just to name a few. We also offer the two plus two computer science program where students do the first two years in Tokyo and the last two years in Philadelphia to finish a degree. And all classes here at TJ are offered in English, uh, so you don't need to know any Japanese to apply. Our campus is located in an area called San Genjaya in Tokyo. Uh, we were founded in 1982, but we just moved this brand new campus uh, about two years ago. So everything is brand new. Uh, and it's located, our campus is located in the very central part of Tokyo. It is just a five minute train right away from Shibuya station. So for those who don't know, Shibuya is like Times Square, New York. It's the most popular district for young people in Tokyo, and it's the most visited spot for tourism in Japan. So if you are really interested in urban campus setting, then hope you'll consider TJ. So next, I would like to talk about what TJ has to offer. Uh, Although we look at in Tokyo, but the degree and credits you'll be earning will be American degree, American credits, they are temple degree. They are exactly the same degree that students in Philadelphia earn. The student activity will get the same. And on the degree when you graduate, it won't even search on campus, it will just be temple university degree. Yes. And if you're taking AP, IB, or you have any, any college credits, there are chance for the temple, which helps you to save time and money. And so you don't need to repeat some of those courses here. In terms of tuition fee, let's look at this chart which compares to TJ's tuition with the public and private universities in the US. Uh, the average tuition fee at TJ is about $15,000 per year. So sometimes it's even cheaper for you to study abroad in Japan with us than go, going out of states. And the, uh, and the um, degree that you'll be earning will still be an American degree. So the question is why not, right? And of course, you can use financial aid, GRB if you have benefits, you can use private loans. We also offer merit-based scholarships, which are very easy to apply. And we look at in Tokyo, and as you know, Tokyo is the biggest in Japan, the most developed in Asia. So there are many opportunities when it comes to part-time jobs, full uh, internship and full-time jobs. 
Uh, talking about jobs, we have the Korea Development Office to help students find jobs in Japan or if, even back in their home countries. Especially if we go back to the US, we can still use the services and uh, resources offered by the Korea Development Office at our main campus in Philly. Yes. Um, yeah, so you can, uh, you, can, you can get support in the US as well. An internship is a distinctive feature about school for some majors like business, international affairs, or psychological studies. Internship is required and it's credit bearing internship. The student often do it during the third or fourth year here and we'll help you to find internship here in Japan. And you can see the list of companies here that have recruited our students for the internship program. This is Amani, she's from the US and she's a political, political science major and she did the internship at the US Embassy in Tokyo. How cool it is to get the chance to intern at the US Embassy, right? And she said that she learned a lot and it's very helpful for advancing her career prospects. We also offer career fairs. We invite companies to TUJ to recruit our students. This is one of the events we co-host with the Japanese University and it's for English speakers. Yeah. So you can see also see a lot of big names company here. Uh, and actually a lot of international students choose to stay in Japan after graduation because they believe having a working experience overseas will be very helpful for, for their career later. Uh, and this is Isadora, she's also from the US and she's now working at Amazon Japan. And she's one of the graduates who successfully found jobs in Japan. Next, how to apply. Uh, so there are two ways to apply. You can either apply directly to TJ or through Common App. If Common App, please be sure to select the Japan campus because the application process is different from our main campus in Philly. Uh, and this is the uh, list of documents required. So we need application form, some statement, test call is optional for you, and we require your official transcripts and an application fee. Yes. And after you submit everything, the result will be sent to you within four weeks. So it's, we have rolling action, so it's very straightforward and very simple. So if you are any of you are the seniors, uh, just uh, find a deadline for fall 2022 is coming up, which is May 15th. Yes. So, but if you apply for next year or something, you just need to add one more year to this year. Yeah. And also we also can sponsor your visa to come here and study with us in Japan. So that's pretty much about TJ and the application process. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the Q&A or return to us at ac.tj.temple.edu and also the social media. I hope you can check, check it out. So thank you so much for listening. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hot, for presenting on Temple University Japan campus. Our next school will be Manor College. Hi, can you see my screen? Yes, looks great. Take All it away. Right. All right. Hello, my name is Chantelay, and I am one of the admissions counselor over at uh, Manor College. I like to start off by saying that Manor College is a bachelor's degree program school. We were known as a junior college up until 2018, and we do now have bachelor's degree and certification programs. We are one of um, the cheapest private colleges in the state of Pennsylvania. We're located in Jenkintown. We're about 30 minutes away from Center City. So if you wanted to travel, you wanted to go have good eats, um, have a little Center City life, you are uh, very able to do so. We were ranked the number two safest college campus in the United States of America. And that's very important to a lot of our parents when asking, you know, how safe will my children be on campus? There is 24 hour uh, security on campus and you cannot enter the dorms unless you go past security. Okay. We have 65% uh, percent of first generation students, which we take pride in because we really support them and help them throughout the way. Uh, we're a very diverse campus, a very inclusive campus. We have 43 countries represented on our campus. Um, a lot of the things I like to highlight are academic and disability services. We do have free tutoring, free counseling, free health services, free career services, and we do also have dorms on campus. 
it's not going to the next slide. Okay. Here are some of our programs. Um, the orange diamond represents bachelors, the yellow associates, the green minor. What I do like about our campus is that you can obtain one, two, or three of these degrees at a time. Um, our pre-nursing degree, we have a partnership with LaSalle University, which we call our two plus two. You would do two years here at Manor, and then you would be able to transfer into LaSalle University, where you would graduate with your bachelor's of science and nursing. We also have our three plus three uh, law degree program with Warren University, where you will get your law degree uh, within uh, six years. So our application process, very quick, very easy. You do not need SAT scores. You do not need an essay. Um, you do not need letters of recommendation. And we usually reply within two weeks. Actually, we've been getting it done a little bit quicker now. Um, as soon as we get your official transcripts from whatever schools you attended, we are processing applications. We are rolling admissions. The only program that is not rolling admissions is our vet tech program. If you go to manor.edu slash apply, our application is free. There is no charge. You can also scan the QR code that is right there at the bottom of the screen. Paying for college. So I mentioned in the beginning that we are one of the cheapest uh, private colleges in um, Pennsylvania, $28,000. And we like to call that our sticker price. So um, that is our sticker price. That is not including financial aid. That is not including grants or any type of merit-based scholarships you may receive. That is if you are on campus. If you commute, it's about $19,000. Um, and you can get a meal plan. Meal plans are 14 meals a week. Um, and you also get $75 a week in Manny Bucks, which can be used throughout campus at some of our stores. 94% of our students receive financial aid, um, and we do award about $500,000 in scholarships each year. Our student activities in our campus life. So I really like to highlight our food pantry. Um, it is called the Bird Feed. The Bird Feed is available to families, parents, um, you know, students who may have, who may have ran out of meal plans, they may just need something extra at the time, it is completely free, you do not have to put your name down, you come in, you take out what you need, you can donate what you would like, and that is how the bird feed keeps running. We do have sports, we have fitness centers, community service opportunities, and our campus ministry. This is a little bit about the residence halls, 24 hour security, um, laundry room on each floor, full kitchen, Wi-Fi and computer labs. This is some of our sports, uh, men's sports. We have baseball, basketball, cross country, soccer, indoor track and field, outdoor track and field. Our boys basketball team actually uh, went to championships this year. So they did very well. Um, women's sports, basketball, cross country, soccer, volleyball, indoor and outdoor track and field. Um, Hustle the movie was actually, we like to include this um, because Adam Sandler actually just filmed his, new, filmed his newest movie in our gym. So if you watch the movie on Netflix on June 10th, you will see Manor's logo in the background. Uh, the majority of the movie was filmed on our campus. Uh, we like to talk about how Manor College cares, and we really do care. Um, our classroom sizes are 12 to 1. Our campus is extremely small. We take pride in things being personable, being, um, you know, having the ability to just really reach out to your professor and form a relationship with your professor so that you never have to worry about your email going unnoticed or your hand going unnoticed when you raise it in class. Okay, um, that is the end of my presentation. This is my information. I will also put it in the chat box. Thank you everyone for listening and thank you to all of my colleagues. Thank you so much, Chantelle, for presenting on Manor College today. All right, we're on to our sixth school. We're going to be hearing from Western Colorado University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Brianna Clark, and I am a recruiter with Western Colorado University. Excited to share with you a little bit about what we have to offer. First of all, we are located in Gunnison, Colorado, so right in the heart of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. We're about three and a half hours southwest of Denver, so our students are quite literally surrounded by all things adventure. We're within 45 minutes of two world-class skiing and snowboarding resorts. About 10 minutes south of us is Hartman's Rocks, which provides a bunch of hiking and mountain biking trails. And then 18 miles to the east of us is Blue Mesa Reservoir, which is one of the largest bodies of water in Colorado and allows our students to have access to things like uh, water sports and sea kayaking. 
But along with providing some great recreational opportunities for our students, we also like to call the area around us nature's best classroom. 80% of the land surrounding Western are all public land, which means our students are able to actively use it in hands-on learning opportunities, especially for our biology, wildlife and conservation, environment and sustainability, recreation outdoor education students, and several other majors and programs on campus as well. At Western, we are a small university with about 3,000 students in our undergrad population. Our average class size is about 16 students, but we do promise you'll never have more than 66 students in a classroom at any given point. Our professors love the fact that small class sizes means that they get to know you on a first name basis two weeks into freshman year. They also know that you're coming a little bit of ways away from home and will take that extra effort to help you find that home away from home at Western. But along with providing that connection and that individualized attention, small classes also lend themselves to discussion-based learning as well as that hands-on application-based learning uh, that provides our students some really great opportunities and things that can go on the resume as they are getting ready to apply for jobs after graduating from Western and or graduate programs. We have over 100 different academic programs at Western, uh, but some of our more popular majors include business administration, environment and sustainability, recreation, outdoor education, biology, elementary education, exercise sports science, and we are also growing our computer science and engineering programs at Western as well. But my most popular major for incoming freshmen or first time students is actually undecided undeclared. So for sure, giving students a chance to explore the options that are out there and then decide what they enjoy doing most and wanna turn into a career. Along with academic programs at Western, there is things to do outside of the classroom. And sometimes that is where we learn a lot about ourselves and who we wanna be as we, grow, as we continue to uh, enter into the adult world. We have over 50 different clubs and organizations at Western that our students can get involved in. They're academic based where they are about the um, chemistry club or sociology club. We have a full bunch of athletics, including NCAA division two sports competitive mountain sports, competitive club sports, and intramurals. We also have music, art, and theater on campus. You do not have to be one of those majors to participate in those programs, as well as some passion and service-based groups, our multicultural center, and then our wilderness pursuits office who helps our students try skiing and snowboarding or rock climbing or any of those other outdoor adventures while they are in Madison. All of our clubs and organizations are open to anyone and everyone, regardless of your major, regardless of your background. You show up to the first couple meetings and you're in. Also, all of our clubs and organizations are student started and student led, uh, so providing some great opportunities for some leadership and group creation. We are dedicated to the success of our students at Western and do everything we can to make sure you are successful on campus, but also graduating with that degree. We have things like career services, tutoring, academic advisors, disability services, as well as a writing center, but I want to focus in on our EPIC mentors. EPIC stands for Experience Peers Initiating Connections. Every incoming student at Western, including first-time students and transfers, are assigned an EPIC mentor who is a junior or senior student who is attending classes at Western. So they are quite literally peers. And their whole mission that first year that you are on campus is helping you uh, transition to college life and being successful. They are the students that you can task, text and ask to go for a hike, or if you're gonna go to the basketball game, or if you need help registering for classes, they are absolutely there to assist with that. I want to touch base on cost of attending Western. Um, our academic um, total annual cost, including tuition and fees, room and board, everything for a student coming from out of state is coming in just under $35,000. Um, we do not charge for parking on campus and freshmen are allowed to have their cars on campus and a lot of areas are um, included within those fees uh, and um, room and board costs that you see on the screen. And same thing, we have academic merit scholarships to award for students. Every student who applies and is accepted to Western, we will look at your cumulative weighted GPA to see if you're eligible for a scholarship. If you have at least a 3.35 cumulative GPA, you will receive an $8,000 scholarship as an out-of-state student coming in. Higher GPA, more academic merit scholarships for you that cut tuition by almost in half to exit um, half tuition for you. We absolutely want you to come on out and check out Western for yourself. There's nothing second to walking across campus and getting that gut feeling of if the place is right for you. You can go to western.edu slash visit to see those in-person options. However, if uh, traveling to Western is not possible at this point or you prefer the virtual options, you can go to western.edu slash recruitment events to see our virtual events that we have coming up. 
Applying to Western is super easy. Uh, you can apply either through our website or through the common application. Uh, our application will take you about 20, 30 minutes to complete. And then there is an optional Why Western essay. Uh, if you are going to apply and don't want to pay the application fee, just let us know and we will send that to you as well. Thanks so much for joining. Thank you so much, Brandon, for sharing all about Western Colorado. All right, we have reached the end of our formal part of our program tonight six by six, so six schools in six minutes, but we want to give everyone a couple more minutes to make sure that all of our representatives have been able to get their contact info in the chat. All of our attendees can grab that. And if there are any last minute Q&A questions that come in. So as you can see, everyone is coming back on camera to join me. We're going to do um, at least one live question um, for Q&A. We will go in the exact same order that you presented. So we'll start with Joe at Duquesne. We'll work our way to Brianna from Western Colorado. When the person ahead of you finishes, feel free to just turn your microphone on and answer. I won't call. We'll just flow person to person. All right. You are all admissions professionals that are absolute pros at what you do. And so you have the best advice I know. So I would love to hear from each of you a top tip or a piece of advice that you would like to share with someone going through the college search process. Joe, start us off. I think realizing your time element is very, very important. Uh, if you visit a campus over the summer, try to go back in the fall when there's activity and certainly try to talk to somebody in the major that you're going to be looking at, as well as see labs, if you're looking at science labs, et cetera, or in nursing the same, and getting an idea about the area where your college is gonna be located too, because this will be your home away from home for the period of time that you'd be attending. But just being mindful of the fact that uh, um, college is a wonderful experience that I think I have to emphasize is coming out of a pandemic, that uh, we wanna have you in person. There's certainly virtual opportunities, but there's nothing like having a, a, a faculty member as a mentor, and taking advantage of all the social opportunities as well as the academic that you can take advantage of. Uh, my tip I usually tell students is, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions and utilize your resources. I mean, all of us seem really nice and we left our contact information. So anything you might think of that you uh, really, really matters to you, just feel free to ask us. We've heard every question and we're not shy to help you out if you need it. So just reach out if you need something. We're always there to help out. Yeah, echoing all of that, my tip is to just be really curious and do a lot of research. There's so many different opportunities that exist out there, so many different programs in the U.S., around the world, so different, so many different ways that you could have a post-secondary journey. So keep your options open and ask a lot of questions. Be curious. I just have a very simple advice, which is to follow some of your uh, university's interests uh, on social media and take advantage of some virtual tools they offer. Because nowadays, most schools have a very strong presence on social media and offer great virtual experience. It is a chance for you to see the campus live and imagine yourself standing there, especially for the school that you can't visit in person like our school in Japan. Uh, so I think it may help you a little bit to make the decision better. Thank you. Um, I would like to start off by, you know, saying everything that my colleague said is absolutely true. Um, but in addition, I would say definitely take your time. This is a decision that is going to affect, you know, you for the rest of your life. You want to make sure that you choose the absolute um, correct choice, you know, when you're making this decision, uh, because financial aid and things of that nature can, you know, take up a lot. Also, pay attention to deadlines. Be very mindful about financial aid deadlines, grant deadlines, um, you know, whether a school is rolling admissions or if there are deadlines to get into certain programs, because we don't want you to miss out on a program of your choice or miss out on funds that, you know, could really help you through the college process. Absolutely second everything my colleague said. Uh, I think a big piece of advice I try to tell students is take those opportunities to visit campus when you can. Um, there is nothing second to walking across that college campus and that gut feeling, uh, whether it says, yes, this is for me or no, this is not for me. Those are both very valid and often help in that decision process as you're going through. Um, but listen to those feelings as well. I love all the advice you gave. And I always like to remind those watching, whether it's live or the recording later, you know, as different counselors were talking, you saw heads nodding. So different types of programs, different types of schools, um, but you can see that the advice really is, uh, I think, some of the best information to help you either get started or to continue on. And I agree with what Spencer said. I mean, I, I hope this also shows you admissions counselors are 
welcoming, friendly people. Um, they are approachable. They're not just off in an office reading applications all day, and they, they really do want to hear from you. So I hope today gives you a little bit of a sneak peek um, behind, behind the curtain, so to speak, of the whole experience. So we have reached the end of our time together. I hope that if a certain school or program drew you here, that you're now thinking you've got six different options that you need to check out and give a little deeper consideration. Because remember, six minutes is just a sneak peek. Each one of these admissions staff could talk for so much more. There's so much more that you can learn. So we hope that this will just um, give you that starting point and help you in your process as you get going. So whether you watch live or on the recording, thank you for taking time out of your day for this. To all of our representatives, thank you for sharing not just the facts, the figures, those details, but the passion you have for your students' experiences in and outside the classroom. All right, those logistics. When you close your window, there'll be a very quick four questions or five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide us. I promise it's short and easy. We encourage you to check back on the schedule to sign up for the next round of sessions to come as a part of our programming. And don't forget that this session has been recorded, as are all session recordings. You'll be able to find them at the same website where you registered and saw the original schedule, strivescan.com slash Pennsylvania. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. All the best in your college search and decision journey and for the rest of the school year. Have a good night, everyone.